do it. It's been a long time, but they said it's been valuable time. I hope it has been for you. If you ain't, change your life. Because what I say, same shit, different day, but not until we change it. There you go. Right, what we're doing today, we're on this um, slightly confused house. Probably built in the 80s. Now, I say slightly confused, because if you look next door, see the lo lovely basket weave, the brickwork, three up, three down, beautiful. But on this one here, all they've done is a little statement underneath the bay. So one or two things, they've probably run out of brick layer. <laughs> and put the block layers on it, do you know what I mean? But listen, it's still got a bit of character and we're gonna do our bit. So what we're doing, come with me, let's have a little look. So, we have done a little garage conversion in here. Gonna two fat, brick up, block up behind and uh, reinstate it, so. This is young Thomas. Thomas, you've got an important job there, son. Thomas is in charge of what actually artwork is going to go in the gallery because we're reusing these bricks. So he's sorting through, so don't put any shit in the gallery, Thomas. Do you understand? Yeah. Whoosh. There you go. <laughs> right. And today I'm working with, I like working with these guys. They're, they're a good outfit. Custy work for a brick now, so we're working for pristine glazing, you know. Um, He's not just a window fit, he gets a lot of remedial work. So as a brick there, I'll go in and, you know, do his cut outs, block windows up, a lot of garage conversions. Um, you know, I don't want to get, where is it? As tight as arseholes the geezer. No, I'm joking. Um, I don't like to do too much because the work's a little bit mundane, but um, every now and then it's nice, a little feel, I open that, you know, and then he gets big work as well, gets extensions and stuff, especially with the old bifolds. Everyone's getting bifolds now, aren't they? So, um, yeah, so we're gonna crack on. Hey, listen, by the way, don't even notice your voice is a little bit croaky, right? I've had a cold night as well, but listen, it's a killer with a Tracy's. Watch this, watch. How about me and you disappear, girl? <laughs> it's a winner. Can you make sandwiches? <laughs> so, anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> two for now, obviously like Mark's gets mundane and we all know how to do it, but what I've had to do on this two for now, I've had to closure, what we call king closure, okay, for those who don't know, learn what a king closure is, but the reason I've done it, there's no weight above, and this will take the compound of the weight of the brickwork, now to stitch this round in, the bricks are so vulnerable, where they're just these old London bricks, and I didn't want to be chasing out and have to stitch up and shore up all the sides, so a little tip for you. So then what I've done is cut closures and we're muckering after. Right. Bonded it through, gazed it through. The brick layers before me, thank God, stuck to measurements, brickwork side. It's that works out, lovely joint. Sometimes doing these garages, you rip the doors out, they don't work brickwork. I'm gonna have to put three, four, three quarters in to make it look, so I won't just put one three quarter in. I'll split the difference and put four in. So it looks uniform, so aesthetically it looks nice, you know. So they've done well, it works out, lovely brickwork. Right, now the second thing, as I said earlier, this building's confused, right? With a basket weave there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transfer basket weave detail in here. So symmetrically on the house, it would go basket weave, brickwork, brickwork, basket weave, brickwork to keep it all uniform. So what we've got is nine calls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go three up. So on top of this one will be my basket weave detail. So what I'm gonna do is gonna teach Sammy a little bit of this. We're gonna plumb the lines down to keep it uniform and we're gonna add that little detail as an extra. Sure, your artwork you pick up is consistent as well. We've got a few over there, so if need be, we can always rub it. Concentrate on a nice full joint, Sammy, because these are a pig to rub up. I call a lot of girls, I 
I'm making girls off the bricks. These Tudors, you meet on a night out, look lovely when you first lay them, don't they? Nice and green. But you come back the next day, and look ropey. So if I meet a girl who's all makes up, up and looks nice, you wake up in the morning and you think, oh, God, blimey. <laughs> Good. So this is one of the many problems you've got to uh, encounter on here, right? We've got nine calls to the seal. So theoretically, uh, three stretcher bond, three basket weave, three stretcher bond. It was nine. However, the way it's bonded out, it doesn't work on the three to go basket weave because you'd have four stack bond instead of three. Yeah. So what we've got to do is lift upper calls to go four. So half bonds. So if you come in, I'll show you. So now the stack bond will go half bond, whereas before, the course below, it was brick on brick. So what we're about to do is shorten it, bring it in a course, and then go bond. So what I'm gonna show you what to do now, is I'm gonna half bond my brick, and use the profile. Now this is important, watch what I do. Is we're gonna put the first soldier in. Now we're gonna use this as, as a template every time that we move. So it's consistent and the joints are spot on. Good, so I've set the detail out now, works lovely bond. Now, what a lot of people don't do on this is they normally lay three soldiers, three horizontal, right? It's incorrect because you've got to be careful with the joints going everywhere. So now, I just pull the line through on one. So I'm only laying two bricks, but I'll pull it through to match. Just watch what happens here. So what I'm gonna do is give it through. So we're using that line as a guide, it's spot on. That's fair good. Normally people you can see where the line goes inconsistent, where they just do a load of free free hand, you know? It's so important, just put the line up, it doesn't take long. So now we'll just run this nice and symmetrical as I was saying before. Just top around. It keeps everything good. That's pretty good.
So what the boys are doing now, they're gonna they're fitting the frame almost instantly. What they've done is packed it up, they've left a 10mm bed underneath just to secure the fixing so it's secure overnight because um they're not gonna bother balling it up. So it's come out alright. Prop the detail above nice and neat. Now remember what I said about these tuners. It's 
what I call the old traces, don't I? You meet a nice girl and not she looks fucking lovely. You take her and wake up next day, think, oh my god. These tutors are the same, they look lovely. What we call the Instagram brick. The YouTube brick, love you when they're laid. You come back tomorrow, they'll dry out, they look horrible. Oh, I'm not, not, not a fan of them. But listen, job's done. The job's done. Let's go to St. Good morning. Boy's done. He's cracked on here. Got his windows blocked up. Nice, lovely. Outside, the external block work done. All really commended. It's been our day, Sam. Let's go get Sackley. After our day's work, traditionally, what my father used to say to me was break the week up. So we call this Toby Tuesday. So after an hard day's graft, we like to go refuel. Ju 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 ju